Hello and welcome back to Old School Modeler. My name is Nick. First off, I apologize for the late upload. I was trying to figure out what kind of uh, builds came next. I'm trying to do this kind of in, in order, the way I finished them. So, sorry for the late upload. Uh, first up here is the... AMT 93 GMC Sonoma. This is a old Lindbergh kit, but this was boxed as an AMT, but it was an old Lindbergh because it's 1 20th scale. So it's a big scale. So I built this as a kind of how high I want my 1 to 1 scale. S10 Blazer to look someday. In the kind of 90s. This is like my, my favorite era of trucks. You got the the winch bumper and you know the bug guard and not necessarily the cow induction hood. And then you got your, your lights and roll bar. You know, lift and so I started this one in like 20 I got it I got it 2019 and I was building it and I kept messing up the paint and I was getting uh, real fed up with it and I wasn't I was I was losing losing motivation on it and I built, I scratch built a winch bumper, like one of those old school worn winch bumpers, and then this I added on. This uh, comes in in the kit and it's supposed to mount to the stock bumper. The grill is supposed to have GMC in it, but I shaved all that out. This bug guard comes in the kit. I did a cow induction hood. I cut it shaped it up and then filled it like I said this is an old Lindbergh kit I kind of customized the uh, the center console those cup holders were supposed to be where the shifter is and the shifter was down where the cup holders were and I just switched them so now that the shifter is like is the full -wheel drive shifter and then I added a column shifter to it. And you can kind of see if I stay focused. The CB radio down there. Gauge decals. This interior is like is exactly how mine is. It's blue interior. Two-tone. Cloth and vinyl bucket seats. And the paint, the silver is Rust-Oleum silver. And then the blue is a Dupacolor Bahama blue. It's the Dupacolor perfect match. And I kind of polished it out. There's just no, no clear coat on it. I just sanded it with a, a file. And it came out pretty decent. It, it, it ain't the best but and then I taped it off I hand painted this stripe and then I hand painted the pinstripe as well as here I masked it off and then I did the same thing I, I masked off and hand painted the Chevy bow tie on the back window because that's how mine is and then you get the, the pink KC light covers. Take a look underneath. I scratch built the uh, torsion bar drop brackets because in the instructions they they just want you to put it up in the stock location. But with this being a lift lifted like this, it just it would not look right. So I lowered it. 
I cut the exhaust off. I took the Cadillac converter off. I took the dual mufflers off. And then I put a little chair bomb in there. Because again, that's how mine is. It's straight pipe with the cherry bomb. It doesn't have true dual uh, duels at the back, but that's the way I would like it to have it. Because this this kit is based off of off of the uh, GMC Cyclone. Uh, they just added the uh, lift and tires. Get this hood open. A little close up of the hood, you can see the ghosting of a cutout for a, a different addition. I tried filling out all, all that in, but And here's the engine. I painted the block gold. You can see it's a cyclone. It's a supercharged 4.3 liter V6. So I detailed all that up. This is not, not a bad kit. The, the hood fits kind of tight. It doesn't fit like it should. And that's my fault because I did the the uh, cow induction hood so it's kind of warped and you got your separate wire uh, separate windshield wipers stuff like that tailgate does open still and the taillight just fell out that's great so That was that build, you know, it was, it was an off and on. I kept messing up the paint on it, kept repainting it and all this other stuff. So it took me a while to build that. It sat on my bench forever. And then I was also building this one. And I also had a crew cab I had started. So it was this, this kit with another cab and a short bed. But that one's still in, over there in the box. I haven't finished that one. You guys have seen that before. Uh, but I was building this one. I was doing this one as a regular cab long bed. So I took two beds and put them together. It's not quite right as far as the bed. The It's kind of too short. I, try, I tried to uh i tried to make it a, make it a long bed but I don't, I don't understand scale inches to you know regular inches and stuff like that but this was my first attempt at it not too bad but you can kind of see the ghosting in the line here and there you look at it you can see it because i wanted to have the dual tank fill I added a spare to the bed, scratch belt amount. I took two light bars and put them in one as a double hoop roll bar, light bar. Uh, gas tank, dual CB antennas. I added the sunroof and I propped it open. Again, this is the same silver as that one silver and then this is the orange rust-oleum and then i did it did a black pinstripe around kind of crude but there is a gmc decal there on the wheel dual exhaust out the side here There's, these are bed steps a little shot of the interior kind of see kind of not uh, gauge decals I made that shifter manual shift I scratch built two bumpers at the double hoop uh, two bumper 
with a bull bar. I opened the grill up. I'm trying not to pick this thing up too many times. But uh, the rear bumper, uh, double hoop, two bumper on the rear as well. Flip this over. I kind of went loud with this one. The frame's orange. It's a different shade of orange. And then the, the sway bars and the uh, steering link and the... Uh, the brace here, the axle brace, is all painted the same color. There's a winch mount in there. And this was my goal to, to do a 90s build like this. It was, a, well, like I said, my favorite era of trucks. I put a bottom, bottom scoop of one of them snorkel uh, pro stock scoops. I just turned the base around. So this would normally point forward. So I did that. And this was my very first wiring job. The, the blower came out of the 62 uh, Corvette gasser kit by Ravel. I showed you in the last video the the blue one the blower came out of that kit I said first time doing plug wires that's a pre-wired distributor by go for racing and a little coil detailed it up so that was a good build real fun this one also took me forever to build because these two were kind of on the, on the back burner and then I was starting trying to get back into the hobby again and I was like I need to finish these two before I start anything else so I did I finished those two and then this kit came out the by, by the way that's the Ravel Big Gang Country this is the AMT Supernatural 67 Impala. It's the four door. It's based off the off the two door. The the whole chassis and the floor and everything's from the two door. 67 uh, Impala. They they just retool uh, retooled it into a or a new tool into a four door and then the uh, interior panels and the front seat. This is Baby from Supernatural. This is the first few seasons with the spotlights and the Kansas plates. And then later seasons, the spotlights disappeared and they had the Ohio plates, which I did build that version. Detailed it. Looks pretty good. The, those heater hoses come in the kit. There's a upper and a lower radiator hose. So that's pretty cool. So real nice kit. You can see the interior. The gauge. Can't see. But the gauges are in there. And there's a piece of clear lens over top how, like how the real car is it's not one to focus and there's the other underneath that's a good kit that's one of the uh, really good AMT kits the frame is separate from the floor and all that all that stuff so that's a really good kit and this I built this one 
right before my start of my channel. This is the AMT 58 Belvedere or or aka Christine. As you can see, I did build it as Christine, the nice version when Arnie <clears throat> first got her fixed up. That's what I built this as. This is my first build doing bare metal foil. There's a lot of it. But it looks pretty good. This one does steer. So it is poseable steering. This is the engine. This is not the correct engine for Christine. But I didn't have the correct engine, so I just built it as is. <clears throat> Shot it up underneath. This is a, this is the other uh, separate frame from the floor AMT kit. The when it, when it was AMT Ertle, Ertle had had these kits uh, made. These so these these are the better AMT kits, and they're not the same repops and. You know, bolted in chassis and stuff like that. These are the really good ones that I prefer and I like a lot. But you can see the detail of the interior. The door panels are not technically correct for Christine. But yet again, you just built it as is. Box stock. Really fun build. One of my favorite kits. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm, so, I'm sorry for the long video and the late upload. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe. Do what you want. Build the model your way. Have a great night.